Hey guys, James here here, teaching you how to use sub-users on Nitrous Networks' control panel, Nitro Panel. Okay, so, um, once you've logged in, you'll get the screen. First thing we want to do is go to the cogs on the right, uh, called Account Settings, so we click there. And then we'll get into our settings, uh, so we want to click Sub-users, second option down. And to create a new sub-user, we just click Create New Sub-user. And now we've got this quite complicated form to fill out. So the first thing we want to do is give our sub-user a username. So this is what they're going to be using to log into Nitro Panel. So we'll uh, use my Minecraft name, James UI Rules. Um, and then we need to give them a password so you can do this yourself or ask them what password they want to use. Um, so I'm just going to use a password that I know. Uh, and then we want to click on the server we want to give them access to. Um, now we can choose what uh, we want them to be able to do on the server. So we've got the main manager page, um, which is the first page you get um, when you go onto your server. So we can enable or disable them to start, stop or reboot the server. So that's um, quite simple stuff, just so they can start, stop and reboot. They can't edit anything then. So let's enable that. So our user, if the server goes down for some reason, they can start it again. Uh, then we can give them access to console commands, which is typing commands into the console. So um, TP someone or put themselves in game mode or op someone. Uh, any in-game command they can do on the console. So uh, you can either enable or disable that. We'll enable it. And reinstall, which is something you want to be really careful with. Reinstall is completely wiping your server and reinstalling it fresh. Um, as like a new server. So I'm going to disable that. And then we've got the file manager page so they can view it. Um, so enable that so they can actually see stuff. Then upload so they can upload files. Download so they can download files on the file manager. Create um, which is I think at the moment just creating text files. I'm not sure if that's working. Um, so you can enable disable that. Edit so they can edit the configs or any files really. Um, rename, which isn't working on some file types, I can't remember which, but just renaming files. Um, and deleting files, which is another one you want to be careful with, because then they can just destroy your server. Uh, then we've got the backup manager. So create, restore and delete backups. So you can create a backup of the server, you can restore a backup of the server and delete a backup of the server. Um, restoring is one you want to be careful with as well, because restoring doesn't give you an option so as soon as you click it, it gets restored and wipes all the data on there now, which is um, something I think they should fix. So you have to say yes or type in a password or something to before it will restore. Uh, and then deleting backups, so that's one you want to be careful with as well because they can delete your backups. Uh, so this is the plugin, the one-click plugin installer. So you can install plugins, search for plugins, update any plugins there on the server and delete plugins from the server. Uh, so let's give those to our to our player. Um, I also want to enable all of these uh, game mods. This is uh, so you can install game mods, which is another one you want to be careful with because once again, that could really mess up your server if they install a game mod over like bucket or whatever. Uh, so we want to uh, disable that. I'm going to the map store, which is the a fairly new feature. I did a video on it where you can upload maps onto your server and then just restore it afterwards. Uh, we might as well put that on and tasks which is the task manager which I've also created a video on uh, so you can create and delete tasks uh, might as well add that so then all we need to do then once you've configured this to your likings um, like uh, however you want uh, we can click create sub user and it will create the user for us and now we've got our username and it, the server it's assigned to so once you've done that it will send an email to your email account uh, explaining what you can do next so I'll go over to that now All right, so this is the email um, that I got sent so it just says hey your account has been created and it tells you your username and the password for it I've just blocked it out and then um, it just gives you the login screen so you just forward this onto the sub user that, um, uh, that you've made this for and then they can log in with those details into Nitro Panel